Hello. It's the hottest day of the year here in Vancouver. It's probably the hottest day of the century, to tell you the truth, and it's supposed to get hotter over the next few days, if you can believe that. Anyway, I've just recently finished working in this book. It's, I don't know what you would call it, if it's an art journal, a junk journal, a sketchbook, or what it is. I took a children's picture book and gutted the inside and put my own paper on the inside and I've been using this to store the notes and sketches and artwork that I've done during some online workshops that I've been taking and I've continued on doing the blind contour drawings of the presenters in the workshops but a few other themes emerged as I worked through this book as well and I'd like to share them. I'm pretty excited about it. I think it's a really sweet little book anyway and I'd like to show you. And this first picture is of my friend Patty who's my Magpie's Nest collaborator and then the next page is Barbara Heller and the third image here is the only one that is not in my normal style. It's done with a palette knife. And in the pocket here, there are some examples of Islamic geometric art that I did during this, one of Samira Mian's Patreon sessions. I also listened to a lecture about the theory behind the art during the Burnaby Festival of Learning. And I've got some notes here on a session about local plants, indigenous, indigenous plants that I also did during the same festival. A session on making your own stencils with Jenny Grant. A session which was about creating your own dot to dot, making random dots. And, and then here's the first of those themes that I mentioned. I, this session with my friend Zarina Lobo was about making these really sweet little paper dolls with uh, painted faces and collaged clothing. Here's another collage that I did during a session, the Monday morning art talks and a couple of people from the session. Now this one was very fun. It was gathered up some materials that you had lying around on your desk and I had foam brush, the lid of a glue stick and a spritzer bottle lid. I drew around those and then after that the task was to find a figure there and then ask the figure what it had to tell you. This next one started another theme. It was a writing theme where you gathered up some random papers from different sources and try to find some poetry either from the text, the words, or the images that you find in those sources. And I did it in both English and Spanish. And this one too did in English and Spanish. This one's just English and it was digging deeper into some of those phrases to find the meaning. There are some painted petals. If you can't face the whole flower, paint some petals and then some blob drawings. And these are scribble drawings where you find the volume off an object just by scribbling it. More of these blob drawings, you just do a random painted blob and then tr turn it into something. It was Carla Sondheim. She also talked about box journaling. This is my friend Penelope who did a session on brush brush lettering and that's something that comes up from time to time. Oh, I didn't just draw funny pictures of other people. That one's a selfie. <laughs> and here's a example of using some fabric techniques on paper and did some yo-yos and something called cathedral windows. And then here's a whole se section here on several different ways to do lettering. So that was another theme that came out. Is I really enjoy kind of um, creating interesting looking lettering. Uh, shiny broccoli, something my friend Penelope said. And I first, when I first made this and I posted on sh social media, I spelled broccoli wrong and I had to go in and fix it. I just could not leave it. 
And here's something that was very fun. Ways to, ideas and ways to use and make collage fodder. The little bits of paper that pile up in your desk. More little paper dolls. Some postcards that I made by collaging a background and then adding paint on top. The background there is the same thing. A couple of more things. Oh, doing some paint swatches on labels and then using those. And here are two of Henry VIII's lesser known wives and some florals that I did on paper and cut out. That was a series that was organized online. Now these two people did interesting people. One was creating these funky little faces and the other person did a session on doing comic pop-ups and I combined the two of them and came up with this little booklet which was very fun and I'm doing a family workshop based on some of these ideas later in October during culture days. So those are more paper dolls of sort. They're not cut out but they're definitely paper dolls. a collage that I did with Shelley Clammer and she was one of another of the original magpies along with Patty. It's another example of using collage and found images to create story in both English and Spanish. This one was working in black and white and just finding different ways to make marks that resemble a wild garden. And Karen Aubin, she was another one of the organizers of the online workshops that I've been doing. And now this fellow, he did a session on adding trees and humans into your background. Then came a session with a textile artist who's very involved in political art. And so my little happy wall there got some graffiti and then a watchtower. The next page is just sort of this funny little owl. And now we come to the textile part. Sue Stone did a series of textile workshops online and I did this little bunny that was based on the session around creating characters and I noticed that the bunny my bunny worked upside down and then right side up this next fellow did a drawing off a cupcake and I worked it out three ways in in the drawing, in collage, and also in fabric. And I did some writing in two different languages, Spanish and English. And the last person was the organizer of the 100 day project this year. And that's it. I'm pretty happy with, with my journal, and but I think it's time to move on and do something else. We'll see what comes next.